This is Real Ghost Stories Online. Moving can be a stressful time. Moving to a new country can be an even more stressful time, especially when you're going to an area that you are not remotely familiar with. You've never been there. You don't know anything about its history. You don't know anything about the house. You happen to end up in a fairly old house, and then strange things begin to go down. What is it? Why is it happening? How do you make sense of it, especially when you're a kid? Kids and their ghost stories oftentimes are brushed off by adults. It's just their active imagination, that's all. And in some cases, it is. But as you well know from listening to the show, in many cases, it's not. Because we have adults recounting their experiences as children. The very same experiences that they recounted as children to adults, now being adults... And the experiences have not changed. Just as real today as it was back then. How do you explain it? What exactly was it? How did it happen? Why did it happen? Oh, the questions linger on and on. In our next story, we hear about a young man who moves overseas to Germany with his family, stationed in the military, and the house that they get into. And when I say they get into, they get into. Or it gets into them. Take a listen. When I was eight years of age, my father joined the military. My family and I left Austin, Texas and moved to Germany because my father had to be stationed there. We settled into our new home and everybody was happy, especially my brother and I, because we'd never encountered snow before and it was snowing outside. It was early in the morning and after eating breakfast, I asked my mother if my brother and I could go outside and play in the snow. After she said yes, we went outside and around the back of our house where there was a playground. We started having snowball fights and playing tag when I suddenly tripped and fell. When I got up, I got a strange feeling, more like an urge to turn around and face our house. I turned around and to my surprise, there was a dark black figure in my room on the second story looking out the window as if he was watching my brother and me. I stood there trying to figure out what it was that I was looking at when I heard my brother say, what is that? I asked him if he could see it too and he said yes. The figure looked like a dark shadow. And the more we stared at it, the more we started to become frightened. My brother and I started to run towards the house, and the closer we got to it, the more scared we got because the thing was still at the window. We ran around the house, busted through the door, and into the living room where our mom and dad were sitting watching TV. We tried to explain what happened, but it was hard to describe exactly what we saw because we've never seen anything like that before. My father went upstairs to check my room out as we waited at the bottom of the stairs and he came back out and said that there was nothing in there. Then we told him to check every room, but he still did not find the shadowy man. That night I was still spooked about what I had seen with my brother. There's no way I was going to sleep in my room after what I had witnessed in there. I ended up falling asleep in my brother's room. It was hard for me to fall asleep because my brother, who's only two years younger than me, kept asking me if I was still awake. He was still scared of whatever it was that we saw. I ended up falling asleep only to be shaken awake by my brother. He looked completely freaked out and he told me that he saw a huge black bat flying around the room. I believed him, of course, and got up out of bed. I ran to my parents' room and woke them up telling them that there was something in my brother's room. My dad went to check it out but found nothing and my mom stayed with us in the room comforting us until we felt better. When she left, we tried to fall asleep. This time, my brother ended up going to sleep, and I was having trouble doing so because I kept getting the feeling something was watching me. I didn't want to open my eyes and check. I gathered up enough courage to open my eyes, and when I did, I saw that same dark figure from before, but this time, he was flying around the room in all different directions. 
I was just lying there wanting to scream for my parents. But just as I was about, the thing flew out of my room and out of sight. Since that night, all sorts of strange things had happened in that house. It was unexplainable. One day, my brother and I were in my room playing Nintendo when the TV just turned off by itself. My brother got up and turned it back on, but before he could sit back down, it turned off again. He turned back around and went to switch it back on, and before he could even try, it turned on by itself. We looked at each other, puzzled, when suddenly my brother screamed, Look! He pointed towards the doorway, and when I turned around, I saw an elderly woman who was sitting in a wheelchair. The woman looked very old and in terrible shape. Her legs were missing like they were amputated. She was wearing a nightgown, and it looked like it was blood-soaked. She looked as real as any other person. She was trying to tell us something, but when she would move her mouth, nothing would come out. I wanted to run, but she was blocking our way out of the room. We stood there looking at the woman for a good 20 seconds, and for some reason, we weren't afraid of her. It was like she was asking for help or something. Then the lady stopped, turned around, and pointed to the hallway, and right in front of our eyes, this cloud of smoke appeared in the hallway. The cloud started forming itself into the dark shadow man. He started to walk towards the woman, and we started to scream for our parents. Then the shadow man seemed to grab the woman, and when he did, they both just vanished. Till this day, I feel like the shadow man was keeping this old woman captive. I think she was asking us for help. We never saw the woman after that. Another day, my father walked into my room and I was playing my Nintendo. He asked me if my brother and I were still seeing strange things. I answered him yes, and he told me he believed me. Soon after that, we moved to an apartment for another year. We stopped seeing the shadow man. Then we left Germany and moved back to Texas. When I got older, at 19 years old, my father and I were watching a horror movie called The Thirteen Ghosts. When the movie was over, my dad asked me if I remembered the house that we used to live in in Germany. Did I say yes? Of course. Why? My father said that one night, while he was just about to fall asleep in bed, he felt someone grab both his ankles, raise his legs up in the air, and slam them in a real hard manner down on the bed. When he looked around to see what was going on, he could not figure out what was happening. He said that even my mom would be woken up to the slam of his legs. This continued for several nights until one night after his legs were slammed again, he said he opened his eyes and saw a terrifying thing, one of the most terrifying things he'd ever laid eyes on. My dad said he saw a shadowy black figure standing at the foot of his bed, grabbing his legs, making strange noises. He said he could hear echoes of a woman screaming in what sounded like German. When he sat up in bed, the shadow man just disappeared. My family and I had many more encounters in that strange house, even my mom. I've tried to make sense of it all, but what I think it is that the Shadow Man was was probably more like an evil entity than a human spirit. Just there for fun. My brother says he even saw the spirit of a little boy with what looked like a bullet hole in his eye. That house was a very old one. It's been there since the 50s. God knows what happened there. Sometimes I have nightmares about the Shadow Man to this day. It seems he still haunts me. Never truly lets go. This is Real Ghost Stories Online. Want a commercial-free experience of the show with access to the world's largest audio archive of ghost stories? Sign up at Apple Podcasts right now and try it for three days free. Ghostpodcast.com or Patreon.com slash Real Ghost Stories.